Hello everyone, it is Up the Booty Hole 2 here, or Richie Rich 3, and I've come to you with a video of Railworks 2, a tutorial on driving a steam locomotive with expert controls. So today, uh, that's basically what we're going to do. I'm just going to show you guys how to get it done, and basically everything like that. So uh, first we're going to start, we're going to start moving a little bit, get my HUD back up here. First, uh, put the reverser right here up to as high as it goes, about 75 for this train. And you just basically edge the throttle off just a little bit to get it moving. Open the cylinder cocks by pressing C to let off all the excess steam. See, this goes down. This is the boiler pressure right now. It'll reach a certain max point. See, it's still trying to get up pretty high. See, the max is probably about like 297 or 300 or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so basically I'm just going to show you how to drive the train. I'm probably going to get it up to its top speed, possibly. Um, this is one of the most realistic uh, rail simulation games I've ever played. It's, it's really cool. I'd highly suggest buying it if you don't have it. So basically when you get up to about uh, like 10 miles an hour, bring the reverser down to about 50%. I'm just going to edge the throttle off. Leave it at about 30% right now. It'll pick up some speed, and then uh, when you reach the yard limit, then yeah, I just turn off my blowers around 6 miles an hour, 5 miles an hour. Just turn off your uh, cylinder cocks. I'll get back to one of these speeds here. Alright, good. So you just keep going like this, make sure all the brakes are off. And now here's a tip that not many people know about. In this game, Actually, I'm going to lower my reverser just a little bit. There's actually a uh, thing you can use for the brakes. If you actually set it up a little bit until it goes to running, it actually uses less steam. Believe it or not, just try that. I mean, that's how I get my trains up to top speed. And that's not the only thing you have to do, but that's one of the main things. Um, here, I'm going to check my route real quick and see if I'm going the right direction here. Because I really, I've never done this up before. I don't want to go too far over the yard max here. Oh, headlights, there we go. This is one of the coolest trains I think in the whole game right here. I mean, it's DLC, but uh, it's still pretty sweet. Right, I'm slowing down here, I gotta edge the throttle up a little bit. See, that's the, the brake pipe pressure. As long as that doesn't have a blue bar above it, that means the brakes are off. See, if I go a little bit further, You'll see that come up in actually get down here. I don't want to slow down any more than I have to. There we go. Alright. I, I guess it had to be down here to work. Okay, come on. I'm not really sure why this thing is picking up speed, but it should. Are we going up a hill or something? Oh, we're going up a hill, that's why. Yeah, see, so right down here is a 2.3% grade. That's a pretty big grade. Now, I have it floored right now. It's at 100%. It should start moving. Another very important thing to keep to consider while you're driving this train. Uh, the, uh, the steam usage rate and steam generation rate. This is the usage. This is the generation. We're generating 59,000 something, 60,000 of steam. And we're using 60,000 So basically, that means you got to lower this. This makes it more efficient. Uh, driving the reverser, so basically, as you keep the throttle like really high, you gotta lower the reverser down. So yeah, and it should go down. Yeah, see, it's already down. To, oh, it goes up. Okay, it goes back down. And it's forty-one thousand to fifty-two thousand. As long as the uh, generation rate is like higher than the usage rate, you're fine. You won't lose steam. So right now, it's going really slow up here. Up here a little bit, it'll. Uh, Hill will grade off and I'll be able to go downhill or at least on flat land. See the inside. The boiler pressure is on this one right here. As long as it stays around about 300, you're fine. But if you increase the reverser to about like up 75 if you're going this fast, this drop drop considerably. So if that drops 
pedometer right here. Going on about like 26 miles an hour, 27. Uh, I gotta go back on cover. Lower it a little bit. We're getting going pretty quick. We're gonna lower this. Alright, yeah, we're going down. It's 1.7% grade. I think should be picking up steam here. Oh, a little bit. Keep an eye on your boiler pressure, Steve. It went down, now it's going back up. Looks like 298 is the max. There we go, at least. So this should stay. I'm not really sure why it's going up, but that's really not important because it's not slowing the thing down, now, so I just forget about that. So basically you just keep going like this and you open the throttle up a little bit more. Here's the this is the water level, uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the boiler level. Or maybe that's yeah, I think that's the boiler water level. The if you have automatic fireman check in the options menu, this will automatically be filled. And when it gets down to like 0.75 or something. But right now, uh, yeah, everything's looking good. This is the fire man. I'm not really sure what that means, but it does the stuff. So we're moving pretty quickly here. Get some good photos here. We're just waiting for it to pick up speed and get out of this hill here. Yeah. Alright, so if I can go. Uh, how fast? Alright, we're already at 41 miles an hour. I'm probably going to break the speed in a little bit here, but that's not too important. Okay, looks like the hill is reaches max with this next signal up here on the map at the bottom. So, when I get to there, I'm going to start. I'm going to reserve my speed until I get up there and slow down. I guess. A little bit. I'll just try to keep around 45 miles an hour, just for now. Right, let's, I'm going to go outside. Oh, oh, it's down here. Here we go. Oh, that, oh, you can zoom in with the mouse uh, scrolling thing, too. It's a scrolling wheel. I did not know that. They did a beautiful job running this train, too. The, the reflections and stuff are really good. I mean, look at that. You can actually read this. Lima. What is this Lima? Loaned by the people of Portland, Oregon to the American Freedom Train. 1975 to 1976. This thing looks pretty mean coming down the track. It's pretty sweet, isn't it? Alright. So, alright, we got a green signal right here, so we can just get it. Alright, now, right now, we're at a 1.2% grade. Alright, I'm gonna start slowing down and reserve my steam a little bit here. So, uh, basically, that's it. That's basically how to drive a steam train. I'll take it up to the top speed when I get out this hill. But that is mainly what you, what you basically have to consider is this, the uh, steam usage and steam generation. Rate. As long as the <laughs> generation is higher than the usage, you'll be fine. Just, just go straight ahead, you're, you'll be fine. This is a very tight curve. Let's go to the back of the train. Alright, so we're at a 0.8% grade and it's decreasing. It'll, it should, alright, now we're at a 0.4. Alright, we're gonna pick up speed here. We're gonna break this train's maximum in a second. I'm tempted to drop the cars and just go with just the engine, but I'm not really sure how that would work. So. Alright, now I'm gonna start bringing it down. Once you get probably past 50 miles an hour, you bring it down to a goal of 30%. Alright, let's the boiler. Alright, we're at 297, that's basically the max, so that's alright. Alright, so now look right here, we're, at a, we're gonna go downhill. It's gonna be a negative grade in a second. Alright, right there. Alright, wait for it to kick in here. Oh, alright, there we're at a point eight point. Okay, well it's going downhill, I know that. Look, we're already at 60 miles an hour. Let's keep lowering this down. There you go. Look at this, 63 miles an hour, 64 miles an hour. This thing is just gonna keep going and going. The speed limit's gonna increase to 55, but that's not stopping us. We're going, we're going hard here. We're going home. Getting a home run right here. We're not stopping. Oh, that is sweet. I went inside the train. Like, uh, huh. Seats aren't ridiculously detailed, but they're pretty cool.
point is not to look at like the inside of the train, but just basically to drive it and observe the scenery. Which does look pretty good. I must say. Oh, what was that? Alright, we're going 76 miles an hour. I gotta lower this again. We're gonna start losing steam if I don't. 298. Alright, we're doing good. So basically, the, all these uh, principles apply to every steam engine. Uh, basically, just go here's the 55 mile an hour speed limit. We're at 82. Now, if you are going downhill, it tends to help with the speed, obviously. But, I mean, on straightaway, this thing will probably reach about an 80 max. But, I'm just worried about this thing flying off a curve and derailing, but it's not really the problem. So. Okay, so basically, uh, that's that's it, everyone. Um, so don't forget to subscribe, like this video, um, and if it helped you, please leave a comment uh, asking, like, uh, or telling me that it worked. Thanks. Or if it didn't tell me why, what happened. Uh, yeah, so look, we're at 92 already. This is great. Um, so, yeah. Alright, see you guys later.